In 1347, within an Italian convent, Sister Ginevra observes Sister Fernanda's absence from morning prayer and later witnesses her return with the donkey. Fernanda explains that the donkey escaped, a claim Ginevra finds peculiar as the donkey couldn't have opened the gates. Additionally, Ginevra finds it odd that Fernanda is wearing her black habit in spring. When handyman Lurko greets them, the sisters rebuke him for making eye contact, emphasizing the need to maintain purity. Mother Maria questions Fernanda about her absence, growing suspicious due to the recurring incidents of the donkey going missing under Fernanda's care. Maria and Ginevra organize shelves, with Ginevra gossiping about other nuns' misbehavior, though she becomes distracted by a risque drawing. Meanwhile, Sister Alessandra leads a despondent life, forced by her father to support the church. She spends her days in prayer and embroidery, longing to reunite with her suitor. Contact with the outside world is minimal, and Alessandra barely glimpses her father through a metal shade during his visits. Later, as the three sisters walk down the road, Fernanda and Ginevra berate Lurko for looking at them, with Ginevra even throwing turnips. Initially shocked, Alessandra joins in, venting her frustrations by insulting and vandalizing Lurko's belongings. Sometime later, Father Tommaso, leaving to sell embroidery in town, encounters Lurko, who expresses his desire to quit due to mistreatment. In a nearby castle, Lord Bruno discovers his wife's affair with the servant Massetto. Upon Bruno's arrival, Massetto escapes through the window and returns to the servants' quarters. To identify Massetto, Bruno plans to cut his hair while he sleeps. However, Massetto preemptively cuts hair from every servant, causing confusion the next morning. Bruno's wife persists in pursuing Massetto, leading to Bruno ordering his execution. Fleeing in fear, Massetto encounters Tommaso near a river, who offers him shelter for the night after a mishap with the embroidery. During their evening together, Massetto confesses his sins, prompting Tommaso to devise a plan. The following day, Tommaso presents Massetto as the new handyman at the convent, claiming he is deaf-mute. When questioned about the missing fabrics, Tommaso lies, attributing the loss to robbery. Massetto's arrival intrigues Ginevra and Fernanda, who become curious about him. At a later time, Alessandra attempts to instruct a new novice about the convent's routine, but Fernanda obstructs their path by feigning to sweep. When Massetto appears to work on the wall, Fernanda, mistaking him for an intruder, brandishes an ax. Fortunately, Alessandra intervenes, summoning Maria to clarify the situation. Maria informs Alessandra that the embroidery was stolen, doubling their workload to compensate. Alessandra, now working with a silent elder sister, finds her circumstances increasingly dismal. In frustration, she inadvertently breaks her embroidery frame, seeking Massetto's assistance in repairing it. Observing Alessandra's private interaction with Massetto, Fernanda and Ginevra speculate from a distance, suspecting ulterior motives. During confession, Ginevra admits to impure thoughts. While Fernanda attempts to mimic Ginevra's confession before Tommaso reprimands her for eavesdropping and missing prayers, Fernanda later aids her friend Marta in sneaking into the convent, indulging in stolen wine and persuading Alessandra to join them in inebriation. Amidst revelry, Marta shares tales of intimacy, enticing Alessandra and Fernanda into a passionate encounter. The following day, Alessandra assists Massetto with gardening, leading to a heated moment culminating in a brief intimate encounter before Alessandra flees in fear. During prayers, Fernanda notices dirt under Alessandra's nails, arousing suspicion. Ginevra attempts to discuss the previous night's events, but Fernanda dismisses her. Alessandra confesses her activities with Massetto, opting to leave her veil unwashed. Observing Fernanda's unusual behavior, Ginevra follows her, witnessing her rendezvous with Marta and their subsequent tryst with Massetto. Later, Massetto expresses his contentment at the convent to Tommaso, interrupted by Maria's arrival. Massetto conceals himself as Tommaso escorts Maria away. The following day, during Maria and Tommaso's meeting with the bishop for an inspection, Massetto sneaks into Alessandra's room through a window for an intimate encounter. Startled by Tommaso's inadvertent outburst, Alessandra hastily readjusts her clothing as Maria and the bishop approach. Massetto conceals himself under the bed, then escapes through the window once they depart. The bishop discovers discrepancies in the accounting books, leading to suspicions about Maria and Tommaso's involvement in fabric sales. 
Geneva interrupts with allegations against Fernanda, prompting Maria to address the matter privately, albeit without much seriousness. After a laborious day, Ginevra encounters a sleeping Macedo and succumbs to temptation, concocting a belladonna potion intending to apply it to her eyes, but mistakenly ingests it instead. Alessandra questions Macedo about his speech, while Ginevra, under the potion's effects, confesses her true feelings and heritage. Later, Fernanda enters with a knife, restraining Macedo and initiating a sequence of events leading to a revelation of Fernanda's witchcraft. Discovering Fernanda's true nature, Ginevra and Alessandra intervene, leading to a confrontation with the witches. Amidst chaos, Ginevra's actions prompt a tense standoff, ultimately resulting in the witches' defeat and Macedo's liberation. Subsequently, Ginevra exposes the truth to the bishop, leading to a contentious discussion among the inhabitants of the convent. Consequences are meted out, including fasting for Ginevra and disciplinary actions against others, while Tommaso is ultimately stripped of his priesthood. The aftermath sees a new priest appointed, while Macedo faces uncertainty regarding his fate. Eventually, Macedo is liberated from Bruno's custody by the sisters, leading to a daring escape from the guards. The group navigates through the forest, stumbling upon a romantic rendezvous between Maria and Tommaso, facilitated by Fernanda's scheme involving the convent's donkey. In conclusion, the Little Hours is a comedic gem that takes viewers on a wild and unpredictable journey through the eccentric lives of nuns in a medieval convent. With a stellar ensemble cast, irreverent humor, and a unique blend of modern dialogue in a historical setting, the film offers a refreshing and entertaining experience. From forbidden romances to outrageous antics, the movie showcases the absurdity of human desires and societal expectations. As we've explored the hilarious escapades of the characters in this irreverent comedy, it's evident that The Little Hours is a must-watch for those seeking a laughter-filled escape into a world where medieval convent life takes an unexpectedly humorous turn. So, whether you're a fan of dark comedies, historical satire, or simply looking for a good laugh, The Little Hours is sure to leave you entertained and amused.